hello friends i am renuka welcome back to my channel and today we are doing some watercolor cards and these are all about ice cream cards and i am using so cool stamp sets by stamp uh, this stamp set, stamp set is a quite a while in a market so maybe you have it or not i don't know uh, and this is a very easy way to do the watercolor techniques i show you a couple of things and you can apply this technique to any of your stamps and cards and you can get a very quick and easy cards but still they are vibrant vibrant and funny looking so let's see um, how i stamp the things now here i'm using the misty for stamping and then i'm using my grid mat also first of all i forgot to place it and then i decided okay i'll go, go ahead and put that grid mat so all the things is gonna proper in place and now here i'm using Simon's black ink which is waterproof and uh, i'm using the bristol white smooth watercolor card i already cut out my panels in a desired card shape like a2 and i'm gonna put all these on the a2 pre-folded card base and uh, i have this coordination white as well as off-white card base with me and i will stamp some of these stamps insides also so that gonna match um, with the my outer stamping image then I will stamp some couple of more ice cream sticks and chopsticks there and I will cut out them after coloring um, and for this one I decided to emboss so this is how it worked for me I stamp all my images first and then color all my images first then die cut out all my images first and then I add a couple of um, like the stamps or sentiments or something like that um, when it desired here i'm using a fine white powder although it's not a very um kind of nice a uh, stamping and nice uh, embossing but yes to you can affect those now i decided to use z clean color markers uh, for coloring those sticks you can use the uh, any watercolor markers you have or pencils or you can use direct watercolor also but uh, particularly this technique I'm using Zeke watercolor markers and you can see that how they're gonna look very transparent and how I can shifting my one brush to another without you know um, kind of washing the brush and I'm using here a water paint brush you can use the normal one also but this is more convenient for this kind of techniques and if you want more vibrant color you can add directly two colors without the water but it's ice cream so water gonna give a nice ice cream effect to those popsicles and uh, ice cream chalks and here i'm just um, using those colors which i want um so you can go ahead and add your favorite colors or if you want to stick to some kind of color themes or color combination you can do that also some of the times i just go ahead and put all the water there so if the color is too dark that gonna spread automatically or i need a little bit less color than um to color all this and i'm gonna spread up just those colors here so after kind of getting a very rainbow color color combination here i'm just adding yellows oranges and blues and pink colors here um at this particular moment uh, i just having in mind that i want lots of uh, this ice cream sticks and prop sticks and i'm gonna mix and match them afterwards uh, most of the times i use a rainbow color kind of effect now here i'm not talking about the rainbow color in particular fashion in particular order but i'm using all the colors to make this card and um, just by laying a little bit of water there you can you know move the color very easily and watercolor gonna do their work automatically so here technique is pretty simple you lay a watercolor base on the particular image and then you can add more than two or three colors just by uh, putting a little bit of pigment there and then just move the brush and watercolor gonna do their own work and uh, after doing this kind of work first of all i suggest you go ahead and you use the bigger images uh, like this and the simpler images so you can see the effect more and when you gonna get more practice and if you are get expert in that then you can go ahead and then choose the smaller images um 
these kind of things are very nice to practice your watercolors or your any alcohol markers or any other colors for mixing because this is quite a big one and it gives a total room to experiment and at the same time you can get a different shades if you don't like a, a plain effect on this you can use the shimmery water and that all the things goes the shimmery color just make sure that uh, you will not destroy your z color marker with the shimmer or if you get little bit of shimmer on what you can wash it or just uh, scrubble it on the paper so uh, there is a simple techniques by doing these things so for this particular technique i decided to use a distress angst and the smooshing technique i take one transparency you can use directly matte or the surface and then i just smoosh little bit of ink there and here i'm using a cup pumpkin and a fire brick color and sometimes i use the berry color also so now i'm using the old technique of the distress colors the smooshing one so that uh, you can smoosh the watercolor all around and watercolor gonna do its own work i'm just grabbing and uh, putting that waters there and here i don't want to make overall the pink cards i want to make some shades of yellows and blues and green also and you can see that at the same time i'm making a lots of uh, watercolor bases so can i get a lots of backgrounds now here rather than smooshing i'm just putting all my ink cubes directly on the paper and then i'm just spraying it a little bit so now you will get this beautiful color effect now here i'm creating two backgrounds with it but you can keep it that way and you can get more vibrant color if the one uh, this kind of background get uh, very fast and easy with with this and, uh, and they are very easy you can mass produce it and every time they're gonna look different so everyone is kind of different each time nothing is similar and uh, i'm just wiping off the extra uh, green color there on the cardstock and then i decided to add more colors so i decided here to add little bit of yellow one uh, if you are using distress oxides then those uh, backgrounds gonna look more beautiful cause they have the transparent color tendency and uh, they can layer on one another each so you can try with those and definitely you get a nice technique although this technique is a quite wild enough cards but um, i really like to do this the z color markers and rest of the thing is i'm just creating a cards and just um, making and uh, sometimes i deck it out them sometimes i put them directly and sometimes i use the foam tip so, just... so for particular the next uh, background i decided to add little bit of pearl colors and you can add little bit of uh, just pigment there and it kind of catch all the uh, sparkliness here i'm decided to use the pearl gold color you can use the silver or any color you want and uh, always i make more backgrounds than i needed and then i can convert them in the another cards too so here i'm just stamping this mm -hmm. stamp you are cool and i stamp it uh, three or four times just on because i want a really dark black image for that and i suggest for this kind of work you should use your misty and then i'm just making it uh, like more straight um cause i think the paper is not straight cut and then i decided to put this on this colorful background now this is the watercolor card you can use the watercolor directly watercolor paper as a card and fold it and make a front as a watercolor card but uh, what i do i use the off white like the ivory color card stocks to make the card bases or i use most of the times this ivory color a2 coordination pre-folded cards and they kind of match perfectly with that little bit not white ivory color to the watercolor card base and now i'm just placing those ice cream popsicles um in the some one on left and right directions and i'm using a t scale i give a dimension by adding a little bit of foam fun tape behind them you can directly put them but i really like that how they're gonna turn out together and then i will add a couple of no drops there and little bit of shimmer of course and for the next card i'm just putting those popsicle and uh, like just kind of arranging them and once your background is done and once your image are colored then it's just a matter of time that you're 
putting all the things together you can see the various combination uh, whatever you like you can take a picture if you want to and then see which one your best one and then you can put them together or you can just go and play with them basically what happened with the watercolors they're gonna look together always so you don't have to you know stress out or you don't have to see much the things and the rest is you just add a little bit of shimmer sparkle no drops or the blinks or the rhinestones whatever you like most of the times um, I like to add no drops um, just because they are quite a subtle look but you can use the metallic one or just use the glossy accent for the um, like transparent look now for the next one decided to add that um, green card and I use the heart shape die and I decorate out those um, obstacle line with the dice matching dice and then I just put that inside now you can turn this card into a shaker card and that is also look very awesome but this time I just want to give that a little bit of dimensional look and I decided to keep it simple so um, I just add a little bit of foam foam but I didn't add any transparency but if you want to make it shake, shake a card at this moment you should add your transparency and then you can have a little bit of um, shimmer or those anything inside the glossy things and then all the shaker parts and you can shake both the windows the hard one and the below one and the ice cream stick uh, the whole line I love to add glossy accent on these ice creams because they're gonna look really yummy in that way so I did that with all the ice creams popsicles I have now I decided to make a birthday card so I'm using one of the other stamps and it's from MFT and um, I just, just I just want that happy uh, birthday sentiment so I just decided to cover this um, one sentiment which came in a kit sorry in the stamp and that says uh, the chill and the happy but I just want to uh, don't want to stamp the summer so have a chill birthday I want to plan to do so I'm using this birthday from this these two fonts are gonna look together very nice I thought but you can use whatever you have and you can see that how the simple tricks can make your without cutting your stamps you can do this and of course you can cut it with no harm um, but for this particular technique I just want to show you that how I'm just covering them sometimes with the paper sometimes with the tape and then just don't forget to remove your tray and this is already looking so awesome I, I love this background then I decided to trim little bit to get more white edge there and uh, I'm using this tonic uh, studio trimmer and I didn't measure it I just decided little bit of white border out uh, so I just trimmed that paper and then I decided to add those popsicles on the all around that sentiment so whenever I'm making the background I having in my mind that what I'm doing next so I do things that way in this way, um, way you can just highlight your things now particularly for this one I know that I want to stamp something between so I just put the colors that way you can go in a radiant effect or ombre effect too then I just uh, put all the popsicles there, kind of arranging them randomly to see that uh, where I gonna look nice. And then I'm gonna stick all of the small wooden stick uh, to them. And then I'll pop some of them, and some of them I'll kind of lay flat. And yeah, and I really like how it turned out. And it's a very nice and summery look card that. You can give to anyone and those excess things sometimes it's gonna look good to feel the gaps there so i just put one of that thing there and uh, just pushing my stamp the straight block stamp block to make it straight and you can use anything for that and uh, i hope that gonna make sense and then i'm adding new drops uh, 
beside each other just to add more interest and then i will add a little bit of glossy accent of course and uh, this is the simple card but it turned out really nice and you can do this trick with any of your stamps you can do the, this with the bird stamps the flower stamps the animal stamps also and that gonna work perfectly fine so basically this is the very basic technique that you can use to any of these now these are the another two backgrounds here i'm working on and i just pull out those stamps and then i want to give an ombre effect so i'm kind of uh, mixing two colors like blue and green and then i thought that oh it's not gonna show there because um the background is already colored but if you do this technique on the white color uh, your popsicle gonna look two color in the same stamping in you know, a one stamping so yeah i'm just stamping those randomly here i'm using some of the moment wings and then uh, one i just did a contrast one and for the other background i go just like pink and red on the red and pinks and orange so um, after that I just decided to add a one simple sentiment which says smile and this is from the spell binders and it is uh, by their monthly kit and I really like the sentiment so I just want to add little bit more to it so I decided to add a golden mirror cardstock a line of it and um, just just that complete the card just add a couple of new drops there and um, that's it and then decided to add a little bit of more shimmer to it and i put all the things on the orange card base and but white or black also work very nice with it and i just want something more so i just decided to add a little bit of those sparkles there and which is from the another stamp set but you can skip that or you can create your own by adding just the small dots there and for the next one I decided to add the sentiment and at this the background is quite busy one i go ahead and cut out one half circle from the balloon paper and then i just put the stamp there that uh, says have a chill summer and then chill summer and then i just want to put that in the middle of it so i'm just adding those small popsicles um, wood thing and then i will put the whole thing together now um here are the small tricks i want to add a little bit of red heart there so i put that red heart there and then yeah it took a little bit of uh, time to dry all the stuff and then i just color those popsicles um by using zip colors and it's very easy because those are very pretty small so it's gonna work very fast and then i just i'm adding a little bit of shimmer and that shimmer gonna mix all the colors um and if you don't like to mix the colors you can just scrub scrub your marker in the paper for a while and then it helps me to you know bind my whole sentiments together and at the same time i can stick on the front of the, my card and that's complete this card so these are the i think six cards we made with the same stamp but you can do this with the any of stamps you have the same technique you can apply let me know if you like it and what you want to see more from me and what you gonna make with this technique i love to hear and love to see your projects too if you like uh, my video do subscribe to my channel to see more such a videos you can follow me on my social media and same time you can go ahead on my blog to see more detailed pictures and more big pictures of these cards and until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye thanks for subscribing leaving comments and sh sending lots of love to me take care